Hi guys, it's serotonin again. You're going to get sick of me today. Um, when I was doing my work on Crystal Palaces uh, a couple of videos ago, um, I remembered the pearly kings and queens. Um, for those of you who are not from the south of England or from England at all, um, or have never been to England or know nobody from England, <laughs> uh, you might not know who the pearly kings and queens are. Um, pearly kings and queens, apparently, so the story goes. I uh, found a little bit of history in here, and they were um, some of the earlier people living in London who did do mudlarking, which is um, also called toshing, toshers or mudlarkers, street traders, and mudlarkers quite specifically are people who go down to the banks of the Thames and they sift through the mud looking for history. And I've kind of got it in my head that maybe a lot of the children that were shipped around by train um, through orphanages and through workhouses and labor houses um, were these mudlarkers who were remembering their parents and their grandparents and were literally quite literally looking for um, their homes and their parents and their and their heirlooms in the mud. Um, I don't know if it's specific to the Thames, but I do know that in London that mudlarking is generally done riverside and the Thames is a place to do mudlarking, which I have done with my family. Um, and my little one got very, very sick actually, so I don't recommend doing mudlarking with the two-year-old. Um, the other piece that I wanted to mention about the Pearly Kings and Queens is they largely found um, their buttons in the mud. Um, they're all, almost all mother of pearl shell buttons. And what they would do, um, it is written in here, I'm just, I'm kind of just paraphrasing because um, I don't want to get into the reading parts of this because I really do kind of want to move forward um, with this, but I did want to introduce this because if anybody's got any information that they want to share and we can just do like a big early kings and queens um sort of a whole set of um of uh videos i think it'd be really cool i think they're really important people and i think we really have to find a bit more about them because i think these were the urchins the infant pickpocket picket pocket sorry flower sellers hawking their wares cheeky salt of the earth underclass like these are the people who knew what happened before these are the kids who were, you know, taken out of the town by the Pied Piper, you know, someone took them away to safety, quote unquote, and I say that quite literally, um, while the parents were then taken care of. And um, and by taken care of, I mean that in, in, in the sort of mafia sense of the word. And I also wanted to mention too, that I, I just think it's really worth saying that, you know, I think it was part of it killing the human spirit by raising a generation of children that, first of all, would not only re not remember their past, but would also be probably quite brutal to their own children um, and and descend upon them um, whatever um, cultural heritage was given to them, which could have been, you know, to be brutal to your children. Like it could have been taught that, well, they were brutal and this, that and the other. Um, don't forget that the people who raised all those orphan children were the same people who killed all their parents. So I think it's really important to remember this. Um, so that said, uh, the pearly kings and queens, um, these were the babies. Um, mudlarking, uh, toshers uh, is another terminology for people who would go through um, what was considered refuse by everybody else and they would seek out and find um, rags and, and metals and anything of any value and, and human bone even, and they would be taken and processed. And so these people were, um, the original, um, garbage men and composters of, of our, of our culture. Um, as you can see, um, the buttons that they, they sew onto their clothes, they're all the similar kinds of style of button, um, some different sizes, and all of them usually um, spell out words or symbols, um, and these are ancient symbols. Again, they're, again, oh, city Khan, oh, thank you. Um, he is totally part of the system. Um, they all put these, you know, incredible, um, uh, well, just lineage of symbols. Like this is, I mean, I'm sure on this woman alone, there are some very interesting um, um, symbols to, to decipher, the, a language for us to read. Um, sort of like um, a Maori uh, body tattoo. You know, it, it tells the history of who you are and where you came from and, 
And um, here we have, you know, quite literally, Pearly King, Crystal Palace, Pearly Queen, Tower Hamlets. Um, but these, this is this is an incredibly important um, British culture. Um, so yeah, I just I felt it really important to bring up the Pearly Kings and Queens. Um, and then this is just a little shout out to um, Kathy from Yarmouth. Um, I just I've been really taken by some of the things I've seen. Um, here and there in some of the videos and one of the things that came up really fast in one of your videos was this and oh my goodness I just had to stop and find it um so I don't know what that is but when I tried looking for it um I found oops well I looked up okay great Yarmouth round structure and then I found this so I don't know if they're connected but um I would love to know more about this guy so if anyone's up for it um I wasn't able to find anything on my own uh, I just wanted to mention that while I was doing the Crystal Palaces, Yarmouth, Winter Gardens, a little one for Kathy, and here's another little picture that I just thought was super cool of Yarmouth again. So anyway, I just wanted to say a big shout out to you guys. You guys mean a lot to me. I think I've already mentioned that before. And um, I really care about the work that we're doing because I really want to know what's going on and where we're from and where we're going and all that stuff. So my nose is getting itchy. I think I need to uh, have a glass of water and take a break. But thank you so, so much, everyone, um, for all the support already. And, and more importantly, um, thank you for taking an interest in this and in, in your own history. Uh, we are one race on this planet. We are the human race. Um, I don't know if we were made in a lab a couple thousand years ago. I'm 100% certain we didn't crawl down from trees. Um, as for the rest of it, I have no idea. I have no idea. But we're all together, and um, and we're working it out, and we're sorting it out, and um, may we walk peacefully into our future, uh, arms linked. God bless us all. Have a great day, guys. Stay warm.